Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know it's been a while since I've created a, a video, but I finally found some time out of my busy schedule to create something um, around, you know, something that you are all hearing about in the news and that's open AI. So this quick video is uh, showing you how to use the open AI connector that I created a little while ago uh, and showing you how you can integrate open AI with Slack using MuleSoft. So the requirements for this um, this this project, and I'll post the the, the GitHub repo for this. Uh, I'm using Anypoint Studio 7.14. Uh, I'm also using the Open AI connector. Um, I actually recently just updated the connector to include some more new configurations. Um, the Slack connector 1.0.13, and this isn't the community connector, but the one that MuleSoft provides. Uh, in addition, you also want to have an Open AI account, and that's in order to get the API token. Uh, to call the Slack or the OpenAI APIs. And then lastly, of course, a Slack account where you'll want to create a bot. Uh, and that bot is what's going to be listening for um, the, the messages uh, that a user will post and then pass that to Slack. And then um, once, you get a, once it gets a completion, it's going to go ahead and pass that message back to the user um, that posted that question. All right. Okay, so now that we know the requirements, let's go ahead and run through the demonstration really quickly. So here is the uh, example project that I've set up. I, I'm using the Slack connector to listen on a new message. Um, if we go ahead and select that and look at the different operation or the different settings here, um, this is gonna listen on a specific channel. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and pass in the, the channel ID for that. Um, once it picks up the new uh, message, it's going to determine if this was a message from a bot or a message from a user. If it is a message from a user, it's going to go ahead and pass that message to OpenAI, um, create a completion, and then send that message back to the exact same channel to respond to the user. So really quick before we uh, kick that off, let's go ahead and look at the OpenAI connector uh, around create completion. Um, I recently updated the connector to include max tokens as well as temperature and also updated the models that were available to select from uh, in terms of what's available um, the, uh, from OpenAI today. Um, once it receives the payload text from that message, it's going to go ahead and transform it and create a message to send off to the user. And this one's pretty straightforward. It's going to go ahead and send that um, to the specific channel that you call out uh, within the content payload itself, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to Slack. Um, the channel that the on message trigger is going to be listening to is demos. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and um, just copy and paste a prompt to pass to OpenAI. Uh, in here, I'm going to go ahead and say, write an email invitation to the CIO of a manufacturing company, inviting him to a uh, MuleSoft workshop. So we'll go ahead and send that. And Let's go ahead and switch back over to studio here. You can see that it went ahead and stopped on the choice filter. Um, this is the payload that's coming in from Slack. So it picked up that message um, from, from Slack. We can go ahead and continue on. It's gonna take that payload text and then pass that to the OpenAI API. Um, it's gonna go ahead and generate a email. And if we come back you can see here that there's the payload. This is the email that's gonna pass back to Slack. We can continue on. It's gonna format that for Slack and then send that message back to Slack. So let's switch back over to Slack now. And you can see that using the connector um, for both OpenAI and Slack, you're able to easily create a bot that allows you to send um, prompts to have OpenAI create the completion or create the email in this case um, that you would send off to a user, all right? Okay, so this is just one example of leveraging the OpenAI connector within a Mule project. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably put together some more videos showing examples. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.